Welcome to Get Involved TV. At a recent employee engagement event, we asked the audience for their thoughts on how you help line managers to understand the importance of being good communicators. We only gave them a flip cam and a few minutes, and this is what they came up with. Managers don't really understand the importance of communications. So there are simple top tips that we can give to managers to let them know that you know they can cascade messages effectively and be role models for their teams going forwards. We assume actually that managers know how to communicate. There are people who come into the organization mid-projects and we think that they know exactly how to um, communicate with their teams. We need to give them simple te techniques and top tips to help them suggested actions, so leading um, effective te uh, team meetings and cascading messages with their teams and therefore reward and um, recognize uh, people who do these well. Show them what's in it for them. If they don't, don't understand how it helps their bottom line, they won't do it. Tip number two, you have to have the sponsorship of the board, the senior level in your organisation, because line managers model what they're shown, and if they're not having the importance of communication reinforced in their one-to-ones with their managers, it won't happen. Tip number three, coach your line managers in small groups, collectively, across teams, or individually. Um, it's really important when you do support managers by providing them with communications that you're very clear to them what they're expected to do with that. So is it brief your teams on this? Is it share it more widely? Be, be always very clear on next steps. And finally, realise that they may not understand that they don't understand. Help them. So how do you get line managers engaged in communication? This is a typical example of what happens. You've got senior guys who are really engaged in a message line managers who are not so much engaged and they don't communicate down to employees. What we'd like to do is give managers real evidence of exactly what staff would like and that is by asking them in the survey what they see and what they'd like to see. One way of doing that is to use ambassadors. So if you've got a line manager who really gets it, is really involved in comms and likes communicating, get them to be an ambassador with their colleagues. What we'd also like all our line managers to do is completely personalise the story. There's a lot of diversity within the organisation and each manager has a role to tell and it gives them their personal story and makes it more believable. Right. Our final tip is to make sure that Communication is two-way. It's not just preaching, it's about asking questions and giving feedback. And the final thing to remember, comms isn't just the role of comms. HR and training have a key part to play in helping line managers see about communication.